G'day folks, this is a big Larry. I had no idea what it was so I don't know what the correct term is for the pieces that go on the ends but that's what we're making in today's video. Only doing 700 RPM here because that's the best spindle speed I can manage for the decorative helix that we're cutting next. The helix has a pitch of 3.5 so as my machine can only do 2700 millimeters per minute this is the best spindle speed i can do to cut this helix here the tools being used as a material stop the threading can cycle insisted i needed to put in a thread angle so i put in one degree it wouldn't work if i put in zero the feed for this drill should be 0.17 per rev but at 0.13 per rev it was drawing 5 amps so that was where I left it. The RPM for that drill was 1600 and now we jump up to 3000 for the rest of the program for the 4mm drill and the rest of the turning. I've had this Sumitomo 1mm radius profiling insert for a couple of years now I think but I've never used it. So this was all a bit experimental for me because I had no idea how hard I could push it and what I could do with it. I uh, had no idea what to expect from it. I have to say I was pretty pleased with the results I was getting. It certainly removes material pretty well. I did decide that sticking to a 1mm cut is probably a reasonable thing to do for it. This is a stock removal can cycle and I must say I'm pleased with the way it removed the material. I do this slot for a square parting tool but perhaps I really didn't need to do it for a round uh, insert. Because the insert is round it really took some juggling of the depth of the parting cut to the depth of the 4mm drill to try and get a minimum burr at that position. On the left is the burr that I started off with um, and although it broke off okay it was taking about three days to get rid of it using a deburring tool in a drill press. After a bit of juggling I managed to get it to look like the burr on the right which is much easier to deal with. Alright thank you for watching.